Welcome to the Game Ramble first look video for Dr. Livingston, I presume. My name is Dark Cloud, I'm joined by Numbi or Mrs. Cloud. So this game is developed and published by Volpersoft and it's basically an, a reverse escape room game from what I understand. What on earth is a reverse escape room? Well usually in escape room games your goal is to escape from rooms in a house or somewhere whereas in this one your goal is to get deeper and deeper into the house to discover the secrets of Livingstone. Okay. You actually play as uh, Henry Stanley and you receive a letter from Livingstone asking for help. Let's look at the options. Resolution, graphical quality, so you've got uh, presets for epic, low, medium and high. Let's set the music volume, which I'm going to drop a little bit, and sound effects, as well as the voiceovers. Controls. Set the mouse invert, left hand mouse, and mode, mouse sensitivity, and then looks like standard first person. Hmm. Controls with the WSAD, crouch, inventory, and notes. Okay, so let's start the game and see. So, a work of fiction inspired by the famous meeting of David Livingstone and Henry Stanley. The game's narrative is focused on presenting the story and envisioned it should not be treated as a reliable source of historical knowledge and based for your opinion on real people, places, and events. Okay. <laughs> Dear so. David, I know it has been a long time since we last saw one another, but I'm certain that you have not forgotten me, just as I have not forgotten you. I'm still utterly amazed by how much our encounter and the manner in which it took place has changed everything else. I have reflected upon it numerous times. Your great vanishing, Bennett and his grand plan, me and my great expedition. And finally, simply you. Did I feel disappointed when first I laid my eyes upon you? Not at all. At times, I only wonder what would have happened had I met you earlier. I think of how much we could have achieved together if you had been as strong and healthy as you were eager to help others, including myself. I know, however, that despite your age and the hardships that result from it, at that time, you helped me more than I could ever help you. You may consider it an exaggeration, but that is how I was thinking about it on my way home, when I received the letter with your plea for help. I do not remember what exactly I felt when I tried to turn the whole caravan back. I do not remember who the man who begged me not to was. The only thing that mattered to me was to find and help you. David, did you know back then what would happen to you? Very interesting bit of history, I should say, to base an escape room style game on. Yeah. We are in Livingston's house, I presume. <laughs> Some nice African paintings on the wall. Upon arrival, I was immediately struck by how empty your house felt. At first glance, everything seemed to look exactly as before, but the heavy silence and the fact that you did not come to greet me gripped my heart with worry. Having no other choice, I started looking for you. As might feel empty, but it certainly does not look empty. So if I click on objects... This actually looks like it needs to hold something. See, this needs a key. But 
here. You decipher that handwriting. I began this morning with a prayer. Kneeling by my bed, I ruminated over the obligations entrusted to me by Providence and the trials it had been putting me through. Fate is indeed a remarkable thing. At noon, I was visited by Chuma and Susi. They wanted to tell me in person that they had found volunteers for my next expedition. What excellent news! I have not yet decided whether I will go to Peterick or Lake Albert first. Whatever I choose, it will be a difficult undertaking. However, everything seems to indicate that this is from whence the Nile's water flows. The thought of how close I am fills me with strength. We discussed the preparations a short time longer before they finally departed in high spirits. Soon after they left, Tumpi came to see me. I have been monitoring her pregnancy for nearly three months now. All seems to be in order, thank goodness. I had no other patients today, so I looked in on the animals and worked on the expedition maps in the evening. I hope that Henry is doing well and that his, father, uh, that his fev fever <laughs> has subsided. I wrote him a letter which I will send tomorrow, thanks to the kindness of several traders. I ate an evening meal and prayed again. Let more days be as tranquil as today. Okay. So, the old man started keeping a journal. Interesting. There's MTV, the meta notes. So far, nothing points to foul play or anything. Stennis just. Oh, here. this is the true king of the beasts. and drag to open doors and things. The handprint. It's like it's just art. Okay. Yeah, it's handprints and things everywhere. Hmm. It's a bit dangerous to pick your candles that close to paintings, isn't it? Everything is locked in this house. Mm -hmm. Let me guess. Lock. Okay. Puzzles are afoot. How do I get anywhere in here? Ooh, the way they can crouch on top. Yes. Empty. on the ground. African ritual mask made by local craftspeople. David used to hang such masks on his wall. Okay. How do I put it back on the wall? But I can click and drag. People don't usually stand like this unless they're holding something. <laughs> Should I do this? I think. Something clicked somewhere. Or am I imagining things? Just click. This door. Should it be in a. I can't. Oh, wait, it's this. statuette. Statuette of an, in, of an angered monkey. It seems that some of its parts can be moved. Okay. How do you move it? Looking and dragging, I see. Okay. Don't know if... I guess, uh, okay. was a key. Oh. 
Ah, uh, so which door will it? I'll try the closest one first. Yes, it's this door. I remember that I reached the kitchen first. It looked as though someone had left only moments ago after preparing for a visitor. I wondered whether you had been preparing all of this for me, or perhaps you had been waiting for someone else. What worried me the most, however, was why you had not finished. Imagine you had to go through all that trouble of mucking around with monkey statues just to get into your own kitchen. He's <laughs> got a hole in his floor. Yeah, Livingston must have been quite paranoid. <laughs> so. Basil vial. Granular vial, half full, dried basil. Okay. Tell me I have to cook something now. Just rummage around through his kitchen cabinets, searching for who knows what. Bread. It's a strange place to store bread. Mm -hmm. stew, stew ingredients. And tell me I have to make this. Simply the best. Buffalo meat, carrots, potatoes, water, cornflour, spices, cumin, mitmita. No basil though. I see that. Chop the meat into large chunks, toss the meat into a pot and brown it on all sides, chop up the carrots and potatoes, add them to the meat and cover the pot with a lid. Simmer the mixture for a time until the meat is soft. Finally add water, powdered cumin and mumita, then cover and leave to simmer for an hour. What's this? Garlic. Boil some water and mix it with flour, stir until the mixture becomes thick, cover and let in it. Let it sit for five minutes, <laughs> continue stirring and add flour until the mixture sticks together. Cumin, so really mitmita, right? everything is correct. Well, he was a doctor, wasn't he? Mm. True. Got an empty kettle, assuming that's a potato. Although I have no idea if I actually have to make a bucket. Okay, picking up lots mm. of things now. Our signature buffalo dish. But it seems to smell differently. Mm. Oh, differently. Am I supposed to deduce what ingredients is missing? Mm -hmm. Will that lure Livingston out of hiding? Turmeric vial. Important, I guess. So what is this? Need to do something with it at some point. Okay. Hmm. Oh, more notes. I heard from Henry that John Kirk complained and said that most often I do not document my discoveries, and when I do, none can make sense of my records and he accompanied me on the record re second <laughs> sorry i'm also struggling yeah. the second zambesi expedition it did not seem to be an issue but nevertheless i took another look through my papers and concluded that our honorable consul was right to a certain extent i will try to rectify that mistake i hope that it will help me organize my thoughts as well as i've been having trouble concentrating for some time now my story began with me joining the London Missionary Society in 1838 while still in medical school. That is where I met Robert Moffat, a great man and the father of my future wife. I just noticed something. What? If you press tab. Oh. <laughs> that would have helped a lot, though. Eh? <laughs> Naturally, I did not know that, that at the time. I was going to travel to China, but because of the Opium War of 1839, I had to alter my plans. It was was Moffat's vision and the enthusiasm that convinced me to go to Africa and, as it transpired, discovered by the destiny devised for me by God. 
I vividly remember how beautiful that land looked to me when I observed it for the first time. It was unlike anything else I could ever encounter in England. I knew that no European had yet set foot there. I thought to myself that such a breathtaking land had to have been admired by angels from above. Perhaps it was they who led me here. Very okay. spiritual. Yeah. I see that the old man took an old friend's grumbling to heart. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go further than this, but so far it seems to be a very slow-paced and thoughtful escape room style game. You really have to soak in the atmosphere and explore every nook and cranny and read notes and get immersed in the experience. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a very interesting premise for this type of game. It's not something you would expect when you think of Livingston and Stanley. And yeah, it makes for a different experience. Mm -hmm. And I have a whole inventory full of notes and kitchen ingredients that I need to figure out what to do with. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, thanks for joining us. That was Dr. Livingston, I presume. It's out now. And if you like your puzzle type escape room games, this one could be worth your time. Cool. Till next time. Bye.